Good morning, St. Pius, and happy Friday. Happy March. It's March 1st, 2024. Uh, hey, so we had no birthdays yesterday for Leap Day. Kind of makes sense. Lots of birthdays today. Happy birthday in fifth grade. Half of them in fifth grade. Giancarlo, Greta, Lucas. Happy birthday, uh, Rosalina, uh, Graham in kindergarten, Jonathan in kindergarten, and Maya in pre-K. Uh, high today of 47 degrees. Uh, so our temperature is going back up. One cold day, uh, but I think we'll have, uh, have a couple nice uh, warm days coming up here. Uh, nothing for hot lunch today. Nothing for after school because uh, today is our first Friday of March. March. We've got a 10 a.m. mass followed, um, I'm sorry, 10 a.m. mass uh, by our second graders followed by uh, dismissal at 11 a.m. February Library uh, Star, congratulations to JJ in 2-1. Uh, and our Spike shout out today uh, for being selfless of her time. Shout out to uh, Mrs. Watley. She gave up her lunch break yesterday to help me out. So appreciate you, Mrs. Watley. Remember, at Mass today, we're going to be uh, handing out uh, the, uh, the the award for March theme of forgiveness. Um, so being forgiving, uh, it, it, to, to release any feelings of anger towards another person. Maybe they harmed you, um, but we always want to be forgiving. Just like the father in the story of the prodigal son, which we'll finish up today. In the conclusion of the parable of the prodigal son, the older brother was furious that his brother did not pay back for his mistakes. But the love of his father for both of his sons is infinite and unchanging, as is the love for our, of our Heavenly Father. He rejoices in each of his children without reserve, giving all of his love to each one of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Now his elder son was in the field, and when he came and approached the house, he heard music dancing. He called one of the slaves and asked what was going on, and he replied, Your brother has come, and your father has killed the fatted calf, because he had got him back safe and sound. Then he became angry and refused to go in. His father came out and began to plead with him, but he answered his father, Listen, for all of these years I have been working like a slave for you, yet you have never given me even a young goat so that I might celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours came back, who has devoured your property with prostitutes, you killed the fatted calf for him. Then the father said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. But we had to celebrate and rejoice, because this brother of yours was dead, and he had come to life. He had lost and has been found. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this today. Have you ever felt jealous like the older brother in today's Gospel? How might you overcome feelings of envy? And maybe sometimes you felt jealous um, of someone else uh, who, who, who maybe got uh, attention uh, or maybe got some kind of reward and you might be saying, hey, but I've been doing a good job the whole time too, right? That's probably exactly how the older brother uh, felt in this story. But remember, uh, we don't want to compare ourselves to other people. Uh, so if you're doing everything right and you're doing a good job, making good choices, don't worry, you will also get your reward. Let us stand in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great Friday, everyone.